India back quote as ambassador to the US, Taranjit Singh Sandhu handed over the Padma Bhushan, one of the country back quote as highest civilian awards, to Google and Alphabet CEO Sundar Pichai in San Francisco. India is a part of me and I carry it with me wherever I go, unlike this beautiful award which I will keep somewhere safe, said Sundar Pichai as he received the prestigious Padma Bhushan Award from the Indian envoy to the US in the presence of his close family members in San Francisco on Friday. Madurai born Pichai was awarded India's third civilian award for 2022 in the trade and industry category. He was one among the 17 awardees earlier this year. I want to thank Ambassador Sandhu and Consul General Prasad for hosting me to receive the Padma Bhushan. I am deeply grateful to the Indian government and the people of India for this immense honour. It is incredibly meaningful to be honoured in this way by the country that shaped me, said Pichai wrote in his blog after receiving the award. I was fortunate to grow up in a family that cherished learning and knowledge, with parents who sacrificed a lot to make sure I had opportunities to explore my interests, he added. Every new technology that arrived at our doorstep made our lives better. And that experience put me on a path to Google, and the chance to help build technology that improves the lives of people all over the world, said the Google CEO. Pichai said that it had been amazing to return to India many times over the years to see the rapid pace of technological change. Praising Prime Minister Modi's Digital India vision, he said, Digital India has certainly been an accelerator for that progress. And I'm proud that Google continues to invest in India, partnering with governments, businesses and communities over two transformative decades. We recently announced that we'll be investing $10 billion in India's digital future, working to enable more affordable internet access, building products for India's unique needs, helping businesses of all sizes in their digital transformation, and using AI to tackle big societal challenges, he stated. He further said, we are also investing deeply in digital skilling, and have trained over 1 million women through our Women Will Entrepreneurship Program and over 55,000 teachers in partnership with the government and local organizations. We've also sponsored over 100,000 Google Career Certificate Sponsorships in collaboration with the NASSCOM Foundation and Tata Strive. Earlier this year, we added 24 new languages to Google Translate using a new advancement in machine learning. Eight of them are languages native to India. It means so much to see how people can access information and knowledge in their preferred language, and see the world open up to them in new ways, Pichai wrote in his blog. On India taking over the G20 presidency, Pichai said, it's an amazing opportunity to build consensus on strengthening the global economy by advancing an internet that is open, connected, secure, and works for everyone. That's a goal we share, and are committed to advancing with you. I look forward to continuing the great partnership between Google and India, as we work together to bring the benefits of technology to more people, hoped Pichai.